How would you feel if you spent 15 years of your life in prison for stealing a carton of eggs or a loaf of bread without ever being processed or seeing a judge? This is the reality for the majority of Haitian men and women who escaped during the mass prison breaks on the night of March 3rd, 2024. Imagine being crammed into a 20 square meter cell with 60 other people, leaving you unable to even lie down to sleep. Some cells are windowless, leaving inmates in darkness for hours, and the lack of latrines forces prisoners to relieve themselves in buckets, resulting in unbearable stench. Reportedly, if a cellmate dies, it takes up to five days to remove their remains, while the other inmates are forced to remain in the cell with the body. The conditions for women are similarly dire, as they lack proper hygiene products and are forced to use rags during their period cycles, washing and reusing them each month. Diseases and other chronic illnesses run rampant in these prisons, and mental illness is common among inmates, with little hope for improvement. Some inmates go days without eating, and with no air conditioning, the cells remain oppressively humid. These prisons were used to incarcerate ordinary individuals for petty crimes without due process. The Haitian National Police, or the PNH, essentially serves the interests of corrupt leaders and oligarchs, resulting in many people losing their freedom and lives unjustly. The paramilitary group known as Viv and Sam freed over 4,000 prisoners, including violent criminals and innocent individuals. Given this information, do you still think the prison break in Haiti was a bad thing? Let me know in the comments.